I'm Tom Hayers, candidate for Congress. We're going to get the job done on November 2nd. Yeah. First, I'd like to introduce you to Sharon, a local farmer from Allen County. Sharon, good seeing you. Thanks for being here. And uh, also, uh, Greg, who's a farmer. We had a good conference uh, conversation uh, this morning about uh, farms, family farms, farming in general, and the, the importance of this area. And I appreciate both of you uh, being here today. Uh, guys and gals, thank you for, uh, for uh, standing with me today to show our support for Hoosier Farmers. I'd like to begin by saying that the, the Hoosier Farmer is a foundation of our local economy and our history. Literally, farming has been the foundation of this area on which everything else was later built. And our fertile land provides us this region with excellent corn, soybeans, wheat, uh, the best in the country. So I believe there's no comparison to, of the importance of the small farmer to our regional economy. We need to grow that segment of our economy. It's part of the big picture of re-energizing the economy of Northeast Indiana. Uh, recently, my opponent has provided some inconsistent statements uh, regarding farm subsidies and the, the benefit of farm subsidies to the family farm. He has stated that he opposes all farm subsidies while having received nearly one million total in farm subsidies for his farms in Michigan and Indiana. One million dollars he's received and he's standing in, in other forums and complaining about farm subsidies and stating we need to get rid of them. And actually at a recent Goshen Rotary Club meeting, Mr. Stutzman said that it's quote, time to get rid of farm subsidies. Subsidies only manipulate the market. I wholeheartedly disagree with, mis with, with Mr. Stutzman. In many areas of Indiana, Hoosier farmers are the backbone of their community, and that's certainly true here uh, in Northeast Indiana. And I, I want to make a strong start statement about family farmers. The subsidies that are out there uh, are, do, do amount to quite a few dollars. There's no question about that. I always believe in getting maximum bang for the buck with any federal, state, or local dollar that we spend. What subsidies are there, we need to uh, maintain, support, always be looking for maximum benefit, maximum uh, bang for the buck, to use that phrase again. And we need to focus any subsidies that are out there on, on family farmers, on strengthening family farmers in the region, even including farmers that are trying to develop new, uh, let's say, pesticide-free, organic types of farming, trying to develop new approaches to farming to build, uh, build their farm and to build their build their uh, family uh, family income and, and to help rejuvenate our economy. So it appears that Mr. Stutzman's fourth, fourth run for office in less than three years, he's becoming a typical politician. He's saying one thing, doing another while forgetting about working men and women, including farm farmers, farming men, farming women in our region. So I'll conclude by this, or w by saying this and take any questions that you might have. I believe if he's really against subsidies, Mr. Stutzman, should return all the federal subsidies he received back to the U.S. Treasury or donate them to local church or charity, one million dollars worth. All too often we have politicians saying one thing and doing another. It's time State Senator Marlon Stutzman is held accountable for his words. And let's, let's keep subsidies on, on the family farm and on rebuilding and strengthening family farms throughout Northeast Indiana. Happy to take any questions you might have. Um, we have, I believe, one guest here by telephone, and that's uh, Sylvia Smith of the Journal Gazette. Um, anybody want to uh, toss out a question? I'd be happy to tackle it. And uh, also, uh, if you have questions for for uh, Sharon or Greg, uh, uh, I'm sure they'd be happy to answer a question or two also. Tom, is this kind yeah. of surprising uh, news that a farmer would uh, be, be doing this? Just elaborate. Uh, in a way, it's not surprising news, but it's surprising that somebody would accept hundreds of thousand dollars of payments and then speak against exactly the payments that he had received. I think it's an uh, extreme contradiction. Uh, I, I frankly don't think we should totally get rid of subsidies. I think they have an important role. As with every other uh, federal expenditure, we need to be very careful about where the dollars come from and where the dollars go. And once again, I think it's important to support family farms in this region. I think that can be a strong part of the history of Northeast Indiana, and of the future, pardon me, of Northeast Indiana. Is, oh, Bob, oh. Bob, I'm sorry. Uh, do you have any, any uh, general ideas about where maybe subsidies should be reduced or reallocated to, uh, 
provide yeah. the best impact. Yes, uh, it, it, I, I've, I've heard and read and uh, heard a lot of stories about about uh, millions and millions of dollars of subsidies going to massive corporate farms, individuals that base it barely, uh, uh, there are variations on this, but this involves a lot of individuals who really don't do any farming themselves. They're running corporations, uh, farmers are literally working for them, but the, the massive, you know, multi-thousand dollar farms with, with extremely huge budgets, I think should be de-emphasized when it comes to any farm subsidy payments. I think we should focus those payments on smaller farms. Mm -hmm. Perhaps some sort of means test, there'd be different ways to measure it. I think that that would have to be worked out, that any, any, any system that takes the dollars we're using and shifts those dollars to family farms to strengthen that important part of our economy, I think would be a step forward. Sir, you had a question. Is a farm sub subsidy something that's being debated on the national front right now, especially is there something afoot or are we just kind of looking at the budget and, and where best to maximize our dollars? I'd say more of the latter plus, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Stutzman, Martin Stutzman brought up the issue and stated that he opposed it even though he's been receiving a lot of farm subsidies himself, uh, uh, extreme contradiction I believe. and. I, I believe it flies in the face of the concept of strengthening farms and family farms here in Northeast Indiana. We need to we need to keep working on that. I've been to a lot of events, uh, and many of you have been there with me, which I appreciate. Uh, I've been to a variety of booths and other other uh, other uh, types of displays, so to speak. I've talked with many farmers who have a few cows, a small farm plot, who are trying to build, for instance, mm -hmm. the organic farming, uh, the organic farming scene. And uh, the, I talked with somebody a little while ago that says, yes, I'll go pay $3 for a gallon of milk rather than two fifteen if I know it, there aren't, it doesn't uh, contain pesticides and other chemicals. I, that's an area of farming that could grow if we're going to give a, a financial boost through subsidies or whatever label you might want to put on them to a particular group of farmers. There's an important group, I think, that can grow and actually develop a very strong, into a very strong segment of our economy uh, here in Northeast Indiana. Other questions? How do you feel about uh, how do you feel about Obama's statement this past uh, Tuesday? As far as do you, should we pull troops out? Is it time if if we have to go back in? Are you gonna would you vote for more troops to go back in to Afghanistan and Iraq? I'm gonna focus on the farming issue. I will say that with regard to uh, with regard to Iraq, I think it is good that we are we are having a, a phased pullout. We already have we have fifty thousand troops there. It's a gradual process and uh, I'd say with regard to Afghanistan we need to we need to bring that uh, we need to focus on uh, when, when we eventually leave Afghanistan being able to look back on and say we achieved the goal that we needed to achieve it cannot be like Vietnam uh, you know I served two years in the Air Force during that era it cannot be like Vietnam we need to eventually leave Afghanistan and be able to look back and say yes we left a stable country behind with a stable economy and a, a positive force in Asia. Let's focus on farm questions. Any others out there? Uh, anybody at all? Sylvia's on the telephone here in front of me. Uh, Sylvia, I'm not sure if we're rigged up with a speakerphone or not, but um, if uh, you okay. have any if you have any questions, go ahead and fire them at me. I'm good. We talked yesterday. All Thank right. You. Very good. Very good. Uh, oh, any any uh, any any media have any other questions? <coughs> 